Hey, two dozen. And they're still warm. Nice. What's the occasion? Going away present. One to-go box for each. I'm splitting the team between two cases. Miles, Eva, you're going to Hampton, Virginia. What's there? Raymond Air Force Base. In the last three months, six pregnant military wives, all living in the same housing community, have spontaneously miscarried during their third trimester. The doctors at the base hospital are stumped. Any symptoms prior to miscarriage? In all cases, three days before, the women have experienced flu-like symptoms and back pain, which have progressed to cramping, spot bleeding. Almost like premature labor. So that's 72 hours from onset of symptoms before they lose their babies. Well, I guess you've got your work cut out for you. Yeah, we'll keep you posted. What are we looking at? Bizarre case in New York City. A safety officer at Almoner Community Hospital reported a cluster of three victims struck with spontaneous paralysis. Paralysis. The latest patient, Meredith Beck. 35 years old. She was found in her Manhattan office, rushed to the hospital yesterday. She's in ICU with the others. Any other symptoms? Non-productive cough, severe muscle pain. Commonalities? Only one. They all work in the same office building, Broad Street, Lower Manhattan. We've thrown every antibiotic known to mankind at them. Ciprofloxacin, ceftrioxin. Antivirals? We've tried those too, but there's been no results. We're managing the pain with narcotics, but so far nothing we've tried has done a thing to stop this. What do your lab results tell you? Blood work indicates an elevation in muscle enzymes. They also all have an unusually high number of eosinophils in the blood. It could be a parasitic infection like trichinosis and undercooked pork, toxic oil exposure. The symptoms point to an atypical Guillain-Barre syndrome. That would explain the ascending muscle weakness. And there have been outbreaks of it before. By the way, there's some kind of immune response at work here. So steroid therapy? No, if it is GBS, steroids make the patients worse. Bottom line is I have three patients and may never walk again. I sure hope you guys can help because I'm out of ideas. All right, let's start by getting patients' histories. I'll check the blood for parasitic infections or toxins. I'll check out this building they all work in for any environmental causes. Do you have any idea how long I'll be in here? I say something funny? No, it's just that the first thing most people want to know is what's wrong with them. I know what's wrong with me. My legs don't work. My muscles are aching. And I also have a two o'clock strategy meeting. You won't be there. I can conference it in. Not today. I need to ask you a few questions. Any recent medications? No, work is my drug of choice. Oh, sounds familiar. Any recent changes in lifestyle habits that may have contributed to your condition? My mortgage just quadrupled. Does that count? All right. We need to run a few more tests. We're going to get you better. Look, Dr. Durant, you understand the drill. Women need to work twice as hard to be considered half as good. If I could just get back my PDA, my phone, my laptop. You need to get some rest, Ms. Beck. Meredith. Fearless as I am in business, I get queasy at the sight of just a drop of blood. Go figure. Don't feel bad. The thought of doing a PowerPoint presentation gives me eyes. So do you know what I have? All we know is you have elevated CPK. Abnormal muscle enzymes. I had one of my assistants run an internet search on this sort of thing. Next you'll be saying you want to perform an electromyography, right? An EMG. You've done your homework. Whatever it is that's making me sick is not affecting my ability to think or talk. I've noticed. Let me get my work done, Dr. Durant. Natalie, I'll see what I can do. Everything looked normal. The obstetrician said that the baby was healthy and that I started cramping. I was at seven months, so at first I just thought it was premature labor, but when I started bleeding, I knew that it was more serious. There's a lot of mothers on the base that have lost their babies, and we've all experienced basically the same exact symptoms. When I mentioned that the NIH was coming by to talk to us, she wanted to stop by. Hope you don't mind. No, 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 no. How many months are you? Seven months this week. So, do you think what happened to Nancy and her baby could happen to me? Well, Nancy seems to be pretty on top of things. Any theories? My first guess is environmental exposure to bacterial or parasitic pathogen, although I can't rule out the possibility of chemical exposure. This time we have too many commonalities. Yeah. 
All the women who miscarried live in the same housing development. They shop at the same stores, they swim in the same pools, drink the same water. You know, there were cases where the tap water in Oxford, England, became tainted with detergent and caused several stillbirths. The same thing happened with a group of expectant mothers living in California with houses built before 1988. They found chlordane, a termite pesticide, saturated in the ground soil. I'm gonna start testing the water and the ground soil around the houses. And I'll check the community pool for E. coli. It all looks so perfect. And yet something really awful's going on here. <laughs> so what are you looking for? Whatever I could find. How much time does Meredith spend in this office? She's like Hefner in his silk pajamas. It's damn near 24-7. I'll be down the hall if you need anything else. Yeah. What is it? Silica dust. It's all over the building at Broad Street. I found it in Meredith's office and the other two victims' offices as well. There have been reports that link silica dust to vasculitis and several other muscle degenerative diseases. How did it get there? The building engineer said it replaced the ceiling tiles two weeks ago. So in the process of cutting and fitting them, the dust could have easily settled on their desks. Nat, have you found any traces of trichinosis? No, the patient's serologic tests were negative. I still can't rule out atypical Guillain-Barre syndrome. All right, I'll start them on plasmapheresis. If this is GBS, they should show signs of improvement relatively soon. That's a good idea. As for the silica dust, I don't think there's enough to cause paralysis. Why not? There are only trace amounts. What if they were immunosuppressed? They would have had to inhale the dust for months in order to get sick. If the building is contaminated, the catalyst is something else. Well, if the answer's in that building, I'll find it. I had to pull a few strings, but here it is. Thank God. If you ever get sick of latex gloves and tongue depressors, I'll put you to work. No head for business. Blood samples, they are my friends. How's the muscle pain? Better, now that I can tap back in. I brought you the phone thinking that you might want to call your family. Only child. My parents are no longer with us. I'm sorry. Uh, I was thinking, you no know, husband or children? Oh my God, I forgot to have children. <laughs> what about you, Natalie? Divorced. Uh, what about calling a friend? My speed dial's for clients only, Natalie, but thanks for the thought. All right, I'm gonna start you on a new form of treatment. It's called plasmapheresis. Does it hurt? No more than getting a shot. Now we've got another one. Rebecca English, 27 years old. Over here, let's go. I hadn't heard from my daughter in days, so I dropped by and I, I found one, Becky two, on the three. kitchen floor. She, she passed out three days ago. She can feel her arms and her legs, but she can't move them. I'm going to need a urine myoglobulin sed rate electrolytes liver panel stat. Yes, I feel like my arms and legs are burning. Rebecca, I'm Dr. Duran. I'm going to give you some morphine to ease the pain, okay? Rebecca, I have to need to ask you a few questions. First of all, where do you work? Um, national. She works at the National One Bank in Adams. Why? Well, the Adams building's across the street from the building where Meredith and the others work. Is that important? <sighs> Rebecca, have you ever been in the Broad Street building? Rebecca? She's fading. Stay with There's enough questions. Can't you see she's in trouble? Mr. England, there are three other victims who also work on Broad Street with the same symptoms as your daughter. I'm just trying to figure out what that something is. What are you saying? Are you, you're telling me this is some kind of an outbreak? She's unconscious. All right, let's get her stabilized. All right, Mr. England, let the doctors do their work. I'll explain everything outside. 